here's a quick and easy guide on how to record games on your computer with OBS. Now, OBS may seem confusing at first, but once you get used to it, it's really not. First thing you wanna do is go to the Sources tab and click on this plus sign. After that, click on Display Capture. Now, since I already have one, I'm gonna quickly put OK, and then I'm gonna put OK again. And once you do that, you should be able to see your screen. Now that you're able to see your screen, you wanna be able to hear what's on your computer. You're gonna go back down to this tab, go to Audio Output Capture, and you're gonna press OK. Now, for most people, you can leave it on default, but you may have a specific sound you want to record. If so, click on it wherever you see it at in the list. After that, you'll need to set up your mic by clicking on the plus sign, going to Audio Capture Input, pressing OK, and then finding your mic on the list. In my case, it's this one. Now, to finish this video, you need to go into the Settings tab, go to Output, go up here where it says Output Mode. It's going to say Simple in your case, but you need to put on Advanced. Once you do, go to the Recording tab, since we're talking about recording game videos and where it says recording path, you need to click browse and set it to where you want the videos to save. In my case, it's the iDrive for you and maybe the G. After that, go to the recording format. For most people, you're most likely just gonna put this on MP4. They have like eight to 10 options, but MP4 is usually the best for most people if I'm right, because AV1 is usually easier on your system and easier on your hard drive because the files are super small when compared to H.265, where a 20 minute video may only be 500 megabytes when compared to 4 gigabytes if it was H.265. Now on to the next thing, which may be arguably the most important, which is your rate control. By default, this thing is going to be set on CBR, and if you're recording in 1080p 60 frames, you want this thing to be around 25 to 30,000 if I'm correct, or at least 20,000. Anything lower than that, it's going to be really like blurry to look at. I may put a couple of examples up on screen. For the last couple of days, I've been using this setting, CQP. From what I understand, the higher this level, the smaller the file size, but also the less clear it's going to appear on screen. But this still seems to be clear in CBR. And the lower you go, the more crisper it's going to be. Of course, you don't have to do what I do. You can always test around, well, test out things, look around, you know, YouTube some more stuff. But yeah, that's just pretty much the basic two you're most likely going to be using. I used to use this CBR, but I can't really tell the difference between this and that. I'm going to be honest with you. All right, guys, I promise this is the last thing so we can finally get out of this output tab. You want to go to replay buffer. This is how you save your gaming clips, by the way. But anyways, you want to go to replay buffer, click on enable clips, and you can set your maximum replay time to whatever you want. But this shows you the maximum memory it's going to take up. From what I've been able to tell, if you put this on, let's say, two minutes, but your maximum memory is only 100 megabytes, it won't save that entire two minutes. It may only get 10 seconds worth of it. So just be wary of that. Now here comes the fun and easy part. All you want to do is go to settings, go to video, and for the base canvas, you want to put that at the size of your screen you're recording from. After that, you want to go to the output scale resolution. This is what going to be what you are streaming and recording at. So currently, I got it set to 1080p at 60 frames. If I wanted to do 720p, I, of course, I can't click on this because I'm using this after record. But anyway, you will go up to you will go down to 720p and put this on let's say 30. That's easier to rate stream than, you know, 1440p 60 frames or even 1080. After that, you click OK. After you've done that, you want to go set up some hotkeys. At least most people do. In my case, I have Control Shift 9 plus Delete to start and stop recordings. To start my replay buffer, as I call it my clip getter, I got to press Control to end. Say replay as control and page down in my case. And as I can see, everything else is blank. For you, you may have a hotkey for literally all of these. It just depends on how you like it. All right, guys, here's the last tip. And I meant to put this earlier, but you can use this slider or these sliders to control the volume of your desktop, your mic in my case, your Xbox game. I'm going to bring that up. Like my Nintendo Switch, I got it plugged up, but it's not on. I can control the volume of that right here. You know, whatever you need to do sound-wise, you can control right there pretty much. Well, that should pretty much wrap this video up. I tried to show y'all a little quick test at the end of that video so y'all can see the difference between 32,000 and 1,500, for example. But yeah, if you need any help, just leave a comment in the comment section and I got you. Or, you know, you can YouTube and find somebody else's video. Either way, it works for me. As long as you get the job done and you can record a game, I'm happy. Now, if you found this video to be helpful whatsoever, please like, comment, subscribe, and, you know, 
share it with your community because I'm sure a lot of people need help on setting up this stuff without having to waste eight to ten minutes of their life to do so. You know, like most videos be. I bore witness to the manifestation of humanity's rage. <laughs>